everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara. Today I'm going to be doing this look with the latest Suku collection. This is the pre-summer 2024 collection. I picked up one blush, one quad, and one lippy. This is the pink quad, obviously. <laughs> the pinkish blush, and I picked up the deeper moisture glaze lipstick. I do have some very interesting, interesting thoughts. Goodness, get that out. I forgot to mention though at the end of this video that this beautiful robe is a gift from my husband for my anniversary. I'll also link that down below in case you were interested. And for full disclosure, all of the products that I use today from Suku, I already love. So this is more of just a first impression with this pre-summer collection. I've already done a little bit of color correcting. I'm going to take my new Suku foundation. I have mine in the shade 210. I've worn this twice already. Holy, holy moly, love this foundation. My only complaint with the component is the packaging. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I do love these little pot foundations, but it gets real messy, so I just scoop it right off of this little seal and apply it to my face this way. And I have difficulty because of this process measuring out the <laughs> correct amount to use but I quickly grew to love this and I think in my uh, top three video I even mentioned I expected this formulation to be the exact same as the original cream foundation and it is not I, I definitely want to say there is a difference I will pull it up though I'll, I'll see I'll see this is my Sigma F85 airbrush kabuki I love this brush. I'm gonna use a brush first and then I'll see how it looks afterwards. I prepped my face with a little moisturization. I didn't use my Danessa Myricks balm today though. I'm only wearing a light moisturizer, no primer. Today is Saturday before Easter. My family's getting together to celebrate. I have to work Easter Sunday, so I won't be able to celebrate tomorrow. What do you guys have planned for Easter? I'm very curious. We are not big on going out and doing anything for Easter. It's really just we like to get together and cook and spend time together. That's about it. The kids, even at the age of 19, 18, and 17, the older kids, they still like to do their Easter egg hunt because I put money in their eggs. So they're very fond of it still. I'm not sure how long that's going to last that they are going to enjoy it, but right now they still do. It's fun for me too. I like watching. I am going to pat this out a little bit with my sponge. Oh, but I did use some of that N Danessa Myricks balm on my lips. I love the way it feels. I really love this foundation. I cannot say enough good things about it. Suku does have a concealer. I do not have that concealer. I don't even know if I'll pick it up. Maybe one day in the future, I will give it a shot. But right now I'm not. This is Dior 1CR. At least I... Oh no, I grabbed my 2CR. Wrong shade. I should have checked the, the shade before I <laughs> sat down. I pulled it out of the container thinking it was the right shade. It's not. It's slightly too deep. I might just have to pat over the concealer with a little bit more on my brush from the foundation to help it blend a little bit better. Tip, we salvaged it, we're good. We're good, I hope, okay. I'm gonna take my Suku, this is the Oil Glow Rich Powder. This is the normal, um, this isn't the lavender that I always use on camera, this is their lightest shade. It doesn't actually say the shade on here though. Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, this is just the, the lightest one you can get in the original Oil Glow Rich. I am this time going to try my little powder sponge from Real Techniques. You're not supposed to dampen it, but I'm going to try it this time with a loose powder. See how it works. And just press it into this big old noggin of mine. Into my little 11Cs. I do think with the sponge... I kind of get a better like mattified look, but I feel like I need to just 
brush away excess, it does still feel like a little too much is picked up on that sponge and transferred onto my skin. This is not new. This is the Suku Limited Edition Blush Powder from last summer, the Marble Collection, Blush 140. I actually use this shade. It's very neutral and very light, and it works for me as a bronzer, bronzer slash contour. I don't really like it as a blush because of the color of it, but I love using it for a bronzer, so having a moment here, I'm sorry. <laughs> My Sigma Kristen Dominique brush, I'm gonna use this to contour. It, it just works because it's such a light tone. You definitely can't get this anymore. This was the Marble Collection from last summer. And honestly, there was a uh, mauve blush that was launched with it as well. It looked so pretty. But I only wanted the one and I limited myself. And I thought, I've got a lot of the Suku blushes already. Why not give this one a go and try it as a bronzer? Because they don't have a bronzer. Why Suku doesn't have a bronzer? I don't know. This is my Sonia G Jumbo Bronzer. And this is what I mean by it is just a very, very light shade, even for me. So I picked up the Suku Pre Summer Limited Edition Collection. At least, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's limited edition. This is the blush number 148, Amatanka. If I mispronounce that, feel free to correct me. Just be nice. The product is 6.3 grams of, well, 6.3 grams. I'll put the price on the screen. I can't read half of this, so I don't actually know where it was made. I wanna just say Japan. I think that's just where. I will correct myself though, if I can find the information. It's a 12 month shelf life. All of the packaging, I didn't even show you for the foundation, but all of the packaging is this very beautiful, sleek, modern black. It's gorgeous, I love it. The Pure Color Blush is the snap closure. It's not the magnetic closure. It's very beautiful. The back is reflective, but the front, oh, it, the whole thing, it's very slim. You can travel with this easily. Comes with the little extra brush, which by the way, this brush for a luxury brand is actually a very good brush so I do hang on to those the highlighter and blush because this is a highlighter blush duo and you can mix them together think of it like the Natasha Denona trio little mini blush that she came out with in February so you can use it separately as a highlighter or you can use it as um, a combination like a glowy blush I think for today I'm going to use it separately but the highlighter should work for my skin tone. This might be a little deep for me, but I'm hoping to use it with a light fluffy brush so that it kind of shears out a little bit more. The powder is soft. I've got a couple of these powder blushes from Suku and I really do like them. I think it's a beautiful formula. You guys already know how I feel about the other formula that's been discontinued. I love that highlight oh my goodness okay this is gonna be beautiful there are some amazing swatches and videos that you can look up for this collection I know Lena just posted her video that shows the swatches for the purple palette and this blush in particular on her Instagram reels and her YouTube highly recommend looking at those I'll link her channel below I'm gonna highlight first I'm gonna take my Sonia G this is a mini cheek pick up this very, very beautiful pink shade. I feel like this is a very flattering color, actually. That's pretty. I like it. I actually am curious how this is gonna look on me mixed. I'll have to give that a go. I just don't wanna do that today. I cleaned off my Wayne Goss Face One brush. I'm gonna pick up, oh, it fits perfectly. Very carefully. Pick up this shade. Ooh, that's pretty. I might have to buff it down a little bit though for today. Ooh, cute. Love it. That's such a beautiful shade. Oh, that's gonna look great with this pink palette I got. I'm gonna have to buff that down a little bit. <laughs> 
it's definitely quite a bit bolder. Let me just take my Kuyuto brush one more time. And buff this bad boy down just a touch. That's better. <laughs> but it's so pretty. What a lovely shade. Hmm. For lipstick, I'm going to use the new shade of the Moisture Glaze that came with this collection. It is the shade 101 Ichirinka. This doesn't actually say the shelf life on the box, at least not that I can see. It is 3.7 grams of product and made in Japan. I think that's probably about the blush too and the quad. We'll see. This is the shade of the Moisture Glaze. Oh, how beautiful. It looks like it's got like a bricky red undertone to it. I'm gonna use my Suku pencil here. This formula is quite a bit more emollient than some of the other ones I've tried lately but soft and it glides easily. Although I definitely forgot that I put that Danessa Myricks balm on my lips, so it's probably a little unfair of me. I'm a huge stan for red colors, so leaning a little more red, I dig it. <laughs> and in case you can't tell by my hair, love reds. I will wear a red lipstick or anything lip colored that's red leaning any chance again. The most comfortable balmy lip formula I have ever worn. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes now. There were two palettes launched with this collection. I only picked up one, the pink palette, number 136, Irutabane. I'm sorry, Suku. <laughs> oh gosh, 6.2 grams of product made in Japan. Ooh, let me see here. I can't read anything else on here, so I'm sure it won't even it won't even do me any good. 12 month shelf life. There we go. Beautiful, sleek, modern packaging. Honestly, I think this is of every every single makeup product I own. This packaging is probably my favorite. Aesthetically pleasing. I just, I've got a type, <laughs> it's a little bit of that grungy type from my childhood. So get some of my hair out of the way. This is the palette. One, I think I mentioned before, this packaging is so sleek and beautiful and luxurious. The eyeshadow quads are magnetic. I adore the way this is designed. One, it's travel friendly. So this entire quad is small enough. It can fit in my bag for traveling. It's magnetic closure or as my husband likes to say, a waste of precious earth metals. I enjoy the design and this sleek look, the gold touch, absolutely beautiful. It does come with two of these little brushes here that all luxury palettes come with. I'm gonna try to open it this way so you can kind of see the palette without being blinded by the mirror. It has a, I wanna say it's more of a topper shimmer reflective shade here, a metallic, and then what I'm concerned about is these two pink shades, while I can see more of a coral tone to this one and more of a mauve tone to this one, I'm worried they will look too similar, too similar in depth on the eyes that you won't even be able to see a true difference. We'll see when I get there. I will swatch it and put close-ups of the swatches. That is so beautiful. I know the purple palette, I think is probably the most popular one. That's the palette I've been seeing the most of online. It's the tones that don't really speak to me in the purple palette. I'm gonna use a Sonia G Blender Pro and pick up the coral shade in the palette. And I'm gonna run this all along my crease. Beautiful payoff. I'm 
I'm going to take a Sony G Soft Definer and pick up that same shade and build that up on my lower lash line. I'm going to use a clean Sigma E33 to diffuse that. I poked myself in the eye and my right eye is trying to tear up. I didn't poke myself in the left eye and yet that one's tearing up too. So there's something in the formula that doesn't agree with me. This is just so unfortunate because I guess it's the formula that's getting to me. I'm just really hoping my eyes settle down. I'm going to use a Sonia G T3 brush and pick up this mauve shade here. Oh, let me just not blind you. <laughs> pick up this mauve shade. And I'm gonna build that up here in the outer corner. I picked up this brush during the Beautylish event. It's beautiful. I am gonna have to end up getting the entire collection at some point. There's not much difference between these two shades, sadly, at least not when you apply them to the lid. And maybe if I had gone in with the mauve shade first and built that up in my crease and then used the coral shade, I don't know. Let me see if I can do this instead. Use whatever's left on that brush to kind of blend out this coral. I'm just gonna take that E33 one more time, no product on this brush, and just diffuse the edges. I'm gonna use the Sonia G Worker Pro and pick up this pink metallic shade. Oh, that picks up really easily. That's pretty good. I'm gonna place that all over my lid, especially since you really can't see much of a difference between the two mattes. This is without any type of base to really make that metallic pop. Maybe I should try my Pat McGrath Intensifies on the left eye. I lied about the Intensifies stick. I don't know where I put it. Ugh, so I'm just gonna spray my brush. Whoa, much better. Okay, love that. I'm gonna pick up this part. Well, actually, is it more gold? Oh, it's a duochrome. Okay, so it's gold to pink duochrome on a Milk Cosmetics pencil brush. This is how it looks dry. I'm gonna try it actually on a rougher 12 and I'm gonna pick that up and spray it. Oh, much better. That is much more opaque. I'm gonna put some in my brow bone. Let me see what it looks like, kind of topped over that metallic. This is my final look just with mascara and liner. And here is my look complete with lashes. I'm wearing the House of Lashes Iconic Mini. I just needed some drama. I didn't feel like this palette delivered depth and that look I was really hoping for, so I chose Dramatic Lashes. I think these are cute. Honestly, this palette, I definitely need a deepening shade. I keep my little Raban Mini. Let me see if I can show you. It's just a little duo. This is what I keep on my vanity just to kind of help deepen up any of my looks that I want. I keep this. This is something I think if I want to wear this palette again, and I will, I need to have this just for depth because there's not enough, enough depth in this palette for me at all. And hopefully you saw with the swatches what I was talking about. These two shades are too close. They're, they're too similar in depth and in tone. This is more mauve leaning, this is more coral leaning, and yet on the eyes, they don't translate different enough for them to make this quad worth it. I'm disappointed in that regard. And as I was swatching, my pans in this palette, each one, actually, let me see, there were only three that were, that needed to be um, corrected. 
the metallic shade here that one was glued down appropriately these three as I was swatching it I wasn't even digging my fingers into this pan and they, they weren't pressed into the the palette appropriately I had to push them back in I, I don't really know how to describe that the topper shade here oh that's pretty that is a very beautiful duochrome pink gold shift I mean it's it's not gonna pick up on camera at least not this way but it is so beautiful I think that is probably my favorite shade in the palette and then this metallic shade is the same depth as these two mattes the same depth so you've got all three of these shades here that are the same depth and it's just you can't see the difference between where my metallic ends and where the matte starts or where the matte stops and the metallic begins and in all fairness I know I said that the formula might be causing my eyes to act up my eyes were fine after they settled down for a little bit and then I put on my liner my liner caused me to tear up so it's more than likely just my allergies it's the end of March coming up on spring so it's it's likely just my allergies because I'm so sensitive to anything being near my eyes it's probably unfair for me to say it's the palette I have like four or five other quads from Suku that don't do this to me so it's likely just my allergies the blush palette is a very happy surprise I can't wait to use this thing combining these two I will do that in a different video just not today I didn't want to do that for today so I love this shimmer shade this little highlight shade is absolutely beautiful honestly why didn't I use this I should have probably used this as an accent on my eyes that actually adds a touch of difference a touch of difference a little bit of difference to my look maybe I'm being unfair the looks I saw with the purple palette they did not look like the pink one they look like they had more variety to the looks I would say if you're on the fence between the pink and the purple the purple might be your best bet if you are into purples of that tone if if you're like me and that tone of purple doesn't really speak to you maybe just avoid it altogether the pink one I'm sorry there's just not enough not enough variety in the shades there's just not I don't think it's worth it I'm sorry the lipstick however beautiful shade it matches this palette it's gorgeous mm. but I'm biased because I really 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 enjoy this formula so I like it but that's it I just genuinely I mean everything else I have from Suku I love and I know I sound like I'm coming down hard on this palette. I'm going to try it again. I will use it again. I don't want to be unfair on a first impression. So take it with a grain of salt. Everything on my face is going to be linked in the description box down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for spending your day with me. Ooh, I appreciate you guys. If you click on those links, I do earn a small commission. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.